o'clock on your Monday morning time for Animal House. That brings our buddy, Dr. Kevin Fitzgerald nice back. Nice to see you, Tom. Good to see you as always. <clears throat> you know, this is the time of year everyone gets outside and plants, and I think we always think that plants are, are pretty safe, pretty healthy, but you say there are some plants that really could be concerns that could even kill a dog or a cat. Well, that's right. That's right. You know, we talked so much about indoor plants, but what about things out in the yard? Tulip bulbs can, can really cause some GI upset in dogs and, and, and make them pretty sick. Uh, foxglove and, and oleander have cardiac glycosides that can stop the heart. Really? So, yeah, so pay attention. Are, yeah, I mean, we, the, the problem with me is that people come... They don't, they don't even know what plants they have in the yard. They go, my dog ate this. Do you know what it is? My dog ate and something. They have, a, they have a handful of chewed up green <laughs> green goo. <And laughs> That's I, not going to help. I'm not a botanist, you know. Now, you, uh, did, help me. you did bring some other Ooh. stuff by here today that could cause problems. And, and we start uh, all the way down here. And Now, what's going on with this? Is it an iris? It's iris. It's iris. Iris can cause some, some pretty good GI upset in, in dogs. And, and, you know, I think dogs, why do they do it? You know, boredom. Uh, I, I think some breeds want to carry things in their mouths naturally, you know, so, so we do see that. Uh, you know, teething puppies, you know, uh, they, uh, cats are usually pretty hip to it and don't do it, but they, they will too. But generally eating grass and stuff, we see dogs, that, that behavior pretty, shouldn't pretty be alarming, safe. but pretty it safe. sometimes means they want to throw up, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right, that's right. No, what do we have here? Medic. Begonias, and you, you wouldn't think of that, but begonias can cause, uh, in grazing animals, you know, in goats and and sheep and cattle can really cause some problems, and they can in, in, in dogs too that'll, that'll eat them. I think a lot of the leaves are succulent and have a lot of moisture, so I think they're chewy, and these dogs want to chew things. And, and, uh, Talk to me for a second, though, about what dogs do and don't like, because we've talked about it with antifreeze, and we think, why would anyone want to eat antifreeze? But you say to dogs, that has a taste that they like. We well, worry about sweet. that in the winter. It's sweet. It's got a structural sugar. So, you know, a lot of these things that they're attracted to is taste. Dogs experience the world by tasting. Mm -hmm. you know, and yeah, they, they, they get into it before they figure out if they like it or not. Calla lily can cause swollen tongues, a lot of mouth ulcers. Uh, they, they'll chew that. We know uh, Asiatic lilies Another and lily. other lilies uh, can cause kidney failure in cats. So, you know, very toxic to cats in just a small amount. And we think of aloe vera as very healthy. Oh, use it for sunburns. Yeah. You, know, you put it on your skin for, for different skin conditions. A real succulent plant, but dogs will chew it and, and really cause some vomiting and diarrhea. So make sure you know what you are putting in your yard and consider it. You can do some research pretty easily. How would you go about doing that to make sure you know what is and isn't safe? Well, the, the, we're so lucky. We've got the Rocky Mountain Poison Center here that can tell us so much about you know, which plants are poisonous. There's also the, uh, the poison hotline from, you know, the, uh, that they have for the ASPCA. Um, also, talking to your veterinarian, but, but talking to your, your florist or your people at the, at, you know, at the gardening store, you know, about what you're planting and also providing a good, safe environment for your animal to know what's back there. Amazing things, people don't even know it's in their own yard. So you gotta be careful, dogs and cats, and, and as you often say to them, don't eat that. Whatever it is, don't eat Get that, that out of your mouth. Yeah, just put that away. Kevin, it's always good to see no, you. Thanks no, for coming thanks in. For you do, Fran. We'll Every talk. Monday, we All have right. a great visit with Dr. Kevin on Animal House. Natalie, hopefully, you learned a little bit and made life easier for dogs and cats. Oh, yeah. There's so much out there they can get into. Kevin has helped me so many times. I believe it. Because <laughs> my Bernese Mountain Dog gets into everything. He goes she out eats and everything. And finds snakes. Like on a. <laughs>